The other thing that has popped out today with SEC football is Nick Saban was at the Texas High School Coaching Convention last night, and he told the crowd there that Bryce Young is nearing $1 million in name image likeness endorsements already. And we are 20 days into July, and he said, uh, he said that he is due to make, quote, ungodly numbers. He wouldn't divulge the specifics of the deals that he signed. He said the total compensation is almost seven figures now. He said, and it's like the guy hasn't even played yet, uh, but that's because of our brand. He said uh, Young signed a deal to be represented by CAA on July 2nd, the day after the NCAA allowed athletes to profit off their name, image, likeness. Um, so far, like it, we've only seen the, the only public thing is Bryce Young's got to deal with Cash App, but he, this is, this is a lot of money. We knew that they were going to make a lot of money. I thought it would be more established guys. I, this has kind of got me questioning, you know, what exactly is the, what's the limit here? I mean, how, how high could these contracts go? What, uh, what were your thoughts on the million dollars? Uh, it didn't shock me at all. And I told you, this is what's going to happen. People are going to be blown away by the amount of money some of these guys get. And this was absolutely like a, thinking, a recruiting thing. By these guys are going to make a couple of thousand dollars here and there. And, oh, they're college students. And so 20 bucks will last them all week. Yada, yada. That old bullshit ain't working anymore, baby. These guys are going to get paid. If you're a starter at a major power five program, every starter will make six figures. The lot of them. If you're a guard starting at LSU or Alabama or Georgia or Florida, you're going to make six figures. You start 12 football games, you're getting six figures. Yeah. And this was, I think that this was partly a, um, I think it was partly a recruiting effort by Saban. Oh, well, that's all like, this is from Saban. Yeah. That's all this is from Nick Saban. It's just saying that, listen, we had reports that Tua's family got over a million dollars in compensation to come. All right. That was below board. You don't yeah. think above board they're going to get more? Come oh, agree. Uh, the, the full quote was certain positions probably enhance opportunities to create value like quarterback. And our quarterback, Bryce Young, already has approached ungodly numbers. Uh, I'm not going to say what they are. He hadn't even played yet. Hadn't even started. Uh, he said it's almost seven figures, and it's like the guy hasn't even played yet, but that's because of our brand. So he he just straight up tells it, but whew, that's, uh, that's a lot. I, I figured that some of the more established guys – but that I mean, were that's on the big teams. Bullshit, though. You know, if that guy went to Clemson, if that guy went to Ohio State, if that guy went to Old Miss, he's gonna get the same seven figures. You're probably right. I mean, he like, was the number one a, quarterback. He's got that A on his head. If he went to Arkansas and put a different A on his head, he would still get the same seven figures. And so, and so Kirby Smart talked about that uh, in his presser today. He was like, "It like none of this. Nobody has an advantage over anybody else in the SEC." That's like there's it. money everywhere. All of these there's, there's yeah. money everywhere. Vanderbilt could lock down guys if it comes down to I'm going to go to the highest bidder. Okay? Your brand ain't got nothing to do with it and winning don't have anything to do with it. Vanderbilt could come up with 2 to 3 million dollars tomorrow in their sleep. Yes. Especially in Nashville right now, man. A lot of people that love uh Clark Lee. I didn't even put this down to talk about. Did you see the dead spin article? about no. uh, Clark Lee is costing his Vanderbilt football players NIL money because he has not given them jersey numbers yet? He's not costing them anything. <laughs> no, he's not costing them a dime. This but whole thing's ridiculous. I do ridiculous. think the, the whole earning your number is the dumbest thing coaches do. I agree, too. This is, I mean, that is old like, school. And yeah. he's a young guy, but that is, that's an that's old weird. school mentality. Yeah, but man. it's his first head coaching job, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, so. Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll Everybody see what happens. Wants to be Bear Bryant. I, I suppose so. I suppose so. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.